everybody. This is the first video in our online assessments video series. This video is going to demonstrate how to add a new assessment type. Assessment types allow you to categorize assessment methods used in each assessment task. Note that each assessment task consisting of one or many questions must be assigned to one assessment type. To begin, mouse over the assessments menu and click on assessment types. You'll see that there are already some set up in your account for you. Before I explain why you would have more than one assessment type of say, online quiz, I first, first have to guide you through the settings available. Let's go ahead and add a new type by clicking the button at the top. First, give this type a name and optionally a description. You can see from the drop down that there are four base types available. Observation checklist, marking criteria, RPL evidence, and online quiz. You can select each different base to view a description given underneath the drop down box. The availability of the options found below will depend on which base you select. Each option has an info bubble to the right, which you can mouse over for specifics regarding this setting. When enabled, the Allow File Upload setting allows learners to submit files for evidence in their assessment submission. The Task Visible to Learner setting allows you to choose whether learners can view the assessment via the Learner Portal. The next setting is similar to the previous one, however controls the individual assessment questions. The Learner Can Complete setting determines whether the learner can respond to and complete assessments within the Learner Portal. When the Build on Attempts setting is enabled, learners will only need to answer the questions they got wrong on further attempts. Finally, the Multiple Item Attempts setting will allow further attempts per question within one assessment submission. Back to my example of the online quiz and why it can be beneficial to have more than one of the same type. Let's say I have some quizzes I want the build on attempt setting enabled. However, for others I don't. Using multiple assessment types will allow me to differentiate these two quizzes and their relevant settings. Once you've selected your base type and relevant settings, go ahead and press submit to save your assessment type. To summarize, assessment types are used to categorize your assessment methods. There are currently four different base assessment types and each assessment type can be customised via various settings. The next video will cover adding an assessment.